This is a brief presentation about the new SEC PE syllabus, which needs to be followed as from September 2022. The syllabus includes the theoretical part, which carries 40% of the total mark, the practical, which has 35% of the global mark, and the remaining 25% is for coursework. The controlled component of the syllabus carries 40% of the total mark and will be assessed by a two-hour exam paper. The questions will be set in English. The exam paper is divided into six sections. Section A will have two questions on any learning outcome designated for coursework. Section B is about health and well-being, while Section C has the most questions all about anatomy and physiology. In the section anatomy and physiology, students will learn about the major bones and muscles of the human body, the function of the types of bones, the different types of movements at the joints, muscle contractions, the effect of exercise on the cardiorespiratory system, the role of the different parts of the respiratory system, such as the bronchioles, alveoli, intercostal muscles, and the lungs. The heart rate, the pathway of the blood, and blood pressure are also important topics which we can find in this section. Section D is about the theory of training and fitness testing. The components of fitness, training principles, types of training according to the sport, Designing a training program and sports injuries are amongst the topics in this section. The last two sections are about sport and society and sport psychology. The latter will be assessed by a short essay type question. The practical component of the sex syllabus carries a total of 35% of the global mark. 15% of these are for fitness which is compulsory. There are three fitness tests, namely the surgeon jump, the Cooper test, and the Illinois test. The other 20% devoted to the practical component are either for athletics or swimming. Students need to choose one of these areas. It is important to remember that the school will need to decide which area to cover that is, to teach during the lessons. The decision depends on the available facilities. Students opting for swimming need to choose any four activities from the ones listed on the slide. The start and finish techniques are included in the 50 meter breaststroke, 50 meter butterfly, 50 meter backstroke and freestyle. On the other hand, in athletics, students need to choose one activity from each area plus another activity. This means one run, one jump, one throw, and any other activity, which could be another run, for instance. There are 25 marks allotted for the coursework, four assignments in all, which include a performance analysis, a presentation, and two practicals, which are compulsory.